Hi there, I'm Pamela Greet. I'm talking to you from my home office in Brisbane in Queensland. I was born in the Burdekin in North Queensland and although I've lived and travelled all around the world, I guess my heart is still in the bush and that's really what motivated me to get involved in this Drought Resilience Leaders Mentoring Program because um, when I was a kid we lost uh, our, uh, most of our house in a cyclone uh, so that really framed I guess my thinking about um, how important it is that community comes forward in times when people are under stress because when that happened to me that was uh, years before the SES even appeared on the scene and the Rotary and the Lions and the Salvos, the Girl Guides, all of those organisations came forward and helped, helped our family and supported my parents. So when I think about drought and I think about resilience, I really think about the important role that both community and social entrepreneurs can play in helping to support people, to bring forward the strengths in that are already there in the community. Sure, government has a role to play, external agencies have a vital role to play in helping people get back on their feet, but how can we help to join the dots to connect those leaders who are already there in communities so that they can help their own communities and their own enterprises to get back on their feet. So this mentoring program has enabled me to connect with some fantastic people all around the country, both uh, mentors and mentees. And I really think I've learned just as much from all of the mentors involved in the program as I have from the fantastic um, supports, the webinars, the information that's provided to support uh, to support us in our roles in this program. So what I'd say to you is don't wait for someone else to tap you on the shoulder. Why not step forward and see what you can do to help build resilience uh, in your community, in your enterprise. What I know is that if you do, you won't regret it.